Hey guys, thanks for following along. Usually I'm building aircraft. This time we're building a wild pool. It sits on the top floor of a house, 24 feet deep in the water. A floor moves up and down in the pool and literally can come out of the water to turn it into a dance floor or just a couple feet deep if I got little kids in the pool. We have windows that see through into the pool. We got some crazy engineering with concrete that spans clear out over the backyard sitting on a single column. The pool actually sits over a garage. So we're gonna show you how we engineer so cars can drive under the pool. There's a lot of crazy things we got to do. Big craning, big rebar, big construction, and a ton of engineering. This is in Utah. It's gonna be able to freeze. And so I need this system to auto winterize. So I'm gonna show you some big underground water vaults that drain all the pipes every time a pump turns off, either from me or from a power outage so that this pool can be run 365 days a year. We're doing radiant floor heating, all kinds of fun things, some waterfalls, wet walls. Follow along, I hope you like this. You know, I love engineering, I hope you like this. As soon as we get this house done, we're gonna get back to building a few airplanes. I'm actually building airplanes while building the house, so I hope you follow along all of it. Catch up on the old stuff, follow the new. We love you guys, back to work. It's physics, math, and engineering. Machine it, draft it, build it, test it, break it. Every time something new gets built, the entire world advances. Laying in bed at night, it's designing new parts, designing new suspension, designing new wings. All right, guys, we're getting a little closer, and today is an exciting day, a bit of a cold one, but I'll give you a quick update. You can see we've got the pool framing up. We've got the rebar mostly done on the pool part. We don't have the hot tub part, and we don't have the overhang deck rebar in but we've got the overhanging wood frame up so that's where we are at today we got something really exciting at least for me to put up a couple parts and this one looks pretty benign but this part is 27 feet long the cables will run through here to a big assembly that slides in here turn the pulley corner run all the way up 27 feet get out of the water to a cable pulley at the top come back down go into the basement so we're gonna have a crane set this today we're setting another beam over the back deck today. And one of the bigger lifts we've done in a little while. We are setting the top half of the elevator shaft, a couple of the front walls. Some of these walls have windows all the way up. And so they'd be too hard to stand without a crane. They're two stories tall, big engineered lumber all the way through us. So we could have single pieces go top to bottom so those windows won't move two by sixes, regular timber is usually only 20 feet long and we needed something 27 feet long. So these are some really tall walls we gotta stand. And then if you look back at the pool, you kind of see that the pool's in the garage area. The whole bottom section of that pool, all that lumber disappears. So once we pour that pool, we get the concrete span deck over top, all that wood goes and you can actually drive under the pool right there. So the crane's showing up any minute. Matter of fact, the sun just snuck up. He should be here, we're gonna stand some big walls. Drop what looks like a pretty simple part, which is the pool cable assembly, but all the parts inside are pretty cool. You guys know the drill. I have a lot to do. Back to work. All right, guys, this is the one we get to pick the elevator shaft. I'm super excited about it. Been wanting to get this in all day once we get the elevator shaft we'll get the big window front walls the big tall walls we decided to make the elevator shaft just in two parts one down in the basement that's done and then i wanted to make sure the shaft since it's going up between stairs that kind of float as they go up i couldn't have that shaft move around so the engineers called out two by 12s here but because of how tall this wall is they would have been seams plus i don't like bolting an elevator shaft to something that could split and normal timber has a chance of splitting. So we put in all this Versa engineered beams that could be full length, give me the rails to bolt to for the elevator. So that's a teeny piece of the engineering of this crazy house, but cranes pulling in, let's get it set up. Let's drop the shaft, set some walls. It's a good day, back to work.
Hey guys, I'm gonna interrupt this video real quick to remind you, go check out MikePady.com. We got lots of cool gear, shirts, hats. If you buy anything, you get automatically entered to win all kinds of things like Garmin watches, giveaways. There's so much that we're giving away. It ends real soon. Jump on, buy some gear. It helps promote aviation and helps me and you get people flying where we pay for the first flight. And now we're even paying for lessons and we want to get people to the finish line. So the Payday First Flight Program, or I guess we should call it Payday Flight Program, as we're now paying for more than the first flight, is working so well. Check out the gear, go buy something, promote aviation. We love you guys. Back to work. Here's part of the swimming pool overhang. This is the patio that overhangs. This section of rebar right here is where the staircase is gonna follow this round wall, come down to a landing that lands there continues down that rebar goes down 14 feet below ground to a giant footing you can see the pool walls there those two by sixes around it are because i'm going to put a closed cell spray and insulation six inches thick around the pool let me show you what the underside looks like it's pretty cool big skinny this is not quite ready to pour but it's close inside it is this hardboard sauna tube designed to pour concrete into of course, the rebar is inside that, which carries down 14 feet. But I don't trust the sauna tubes in case they get wet, you, they lose all their integrity. I've got it covered so it will stay dry. It's also under this covered porch. But because I'm so worried about a blowout and everything that's above this, I've now wrapped it in wood, then steel band it, then I'm gonna wrap it in a very thick rubberized wrap called ice and water shield that's for roofing. But I'll wrap it several times and then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and put two inch ratchet straps, like big semi truck straps, and ratchet every couple inches all the way up. The Sono tube by itself should hold. We're getting pretty close to pouring. It hasn't gotten wet, so I know we're in good shape, but the last thing I need is a problem with this one. Above this and pouring at the same time, which you can't see, but look underneath, you can just see the two by six frame, which obviously couldn't hold much concrete. We're gonna have stilts coming down everywhere with steel braces, steel beams all underneath here. But above that is big giant boxes that hold concrete beams that span across that way, this way, several other directions, I'll show that. But to give you an idea, just the little section of beam that hangs out here from there to there, just the beam, not the concrete deck above it, weighs 6,800 pounds from this point to this point, and it's going everywhere up top. So we have a lot of bracing to do, but today it's crane time. Back to work. guys thank you so much for watching this video we have some pretty cool stuff coming i can't wait to show you how we build these giant concrete beams that sit on a single column and hang out over the backyard so that the entire deck to the pool off the back is sitting on one solitary post and how we counterbalance the weight with the concrete to get it all to sit right even in an earthquake so i'm super excited to show you that also i read through so many of the comments you guys are awesome. So many of you came up with some great ideas from the past video, if you haven't seen it, where I talk about how the pool floor migrates up and down and even comes out of the water and turns into a dance floor, or a place to hang out. A lot of you came up with some great thoughts and I like to hold some of my ideas as a secret and kind of surprise you along the way. And I'm gonna tell you right now, several of you commented on things that you might suggest that we've actually already done and coming in a video soon. So um, congratulations, but I'm not gonna tell you what it is. But I love all your comments, all your ideas about engineering, some of the thoughts you think we should do. Hold tight, you're gonna see a lot of those. Come back soon, love you guys, back to work. <music>